Hello guys and welcome back to the 22nd part of the Kotlin UB2 Pro series. In the last part you learned about inheritance, so we created a class shape here, which is an open class, that means it can be inherited from. And this class has the property name, which is a string, and a function to change that name. And each of our three shape classes here now inherit from our superclass shape and we pass the name to that um, constructor of that shape class to specify it. If we do that, then all the um, properties and functions of our superclass will also be available in our triangle class, in our circle class and in our rectangle class. This part will be about visibility modifiers, which are used to limit where specific variables, functions or constructors can be used. A variable or function should be only used, um, should, should be only visible at places where it's really needed. So if we take a look at our circle class, for example, you see we declared the variable pi inside of that class. And if we go to our tutorials.kt file, we created a circle here. And as you can see, if we um, want to access the properties of my circle one, write a dot after that, then you see that we can write the, the value pi here. It appears in the list. And in, in the main um, function, we actually don't want to uh, access that pi value because we don't need it. It's just a value for our circle class to calculate the area and the perimeter and outer classes actually shouldn't access that pi. So what we can do here is we can um, attach a visibility modifier to that variable pi, which is private. And that means that pi is from now on only visible inside of that class here. So if we go back to our tutorials.kt file and write my circle one dot pi, now it doesn't recognize pi because cannot access pi, it's private in circle. So we cannot access it from outer classes. And the same way we can make variables private that are within a constructor. So for example, if we go to our triangle.kt file, then we could make that variable a private. In this case, that wouldn't uh, make much sense because it's a useful information for, for the outside to know about the three sides from a tri uh, triangle. But just to demonstrate you, if we go back to our tutorials.kt file and check for our my triangle here, if we have access to that side A, and as you can see, we can only access the sides B and C because those are not private here. If we take a look at our triangle, we made the side A private, but those two are not private. If we don't write anything before that, then it means that this variable is public by default and it's visible from everywhere. So we could also write public here, but IntelliJ even um, tells us that this is a redundant visibility modifier, so we can just leave it here. So because making the site A private doesn't make much sense, I want to revert that change. And actually there is another visibility modifier, which is protected. And with protected, it is not um, immediately clear what this is for. For that, we need to go into our superclass shape to understand it. And we can now, for example, make that variable name protected. So protected now means that this variable name is only accessible within this shape class and within all um, subclasses that inherit from shape. So if you take a look in triangle, you see that we can access the property name here because triangle inherits from shape. In circle, it's the same and in rectangle, of course, also. But if we take a look in tutorials.kt, you see that we can't access the property name from here because this is not a class that inherits from um, shape. But that also does not make much sense. So I want to remove that protected modifier again. And 
just to show you, we can also uh, attach those modifiers before functions. So if you go before that change name function, then we could, for example, write private. That means it's only visible within this shape class. And private means it's also not visible in the triangle, circle, and rectangle class. So only in this shape class here. And if we take a look at tutorials.kt, it throws us an error here because it's private. Cannot access change name. It is invisible, private, and super type. And if we make it protected, it's still not working because we want to access it from within another class or another file here that does not belong to the shape super type. So it would be correct to just leave this array and leave this function public because we want to call it from our main function. What you can also do actually is you can make your constructors private. So if we go in our circle class here and go right before that first opening parentheses, then we can write private constructor. And that means that we can only instantiate objects of that circle class within our circle class. So we can only create circles inside of our circle class. And of course we don't want to do that, but I just want to show you that this is also possible to um, make your constructors private or protected, but in 99% of the cases you just have them public because you want to um, be able to create objects of that class from everywhere. So in this case, now it's private, we can go back to our tutorials.kt and you can see we cannot create a circle object from our main function because the constructor of circle is private. But I will remove that and if you don't have a constructor private, then you also don't need that constructor keyword. So you can just remove it like we had it before. So to quickly summarize it, you have learned that um, there are public, private and protected visibility modifiers actually there's uh, internal too but you d really don't need to know about that you almost never need it so just focus on private public and protected for now and you should always make a variable private if you're sure that you only need this variable from within the this class where it's defined so in this case we don't want to access pi from every circle instance Instead, we only need it in, inside of this class to calculate the, the area and the perimeter here. Doing this will help you and other developers who maybe work at your code to quickly recognize which variables should be accessible from the outside and which not. So that's it for this video. Your homework is just to try around a little bit with visibility modifiers and make yourself feel comfortable with it. And yeah, if you have any questions, then don't mind asking them in the comments so I can answer them. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.